VATSIM, or Virtual Air Traffic Simulation Network, is a non-profit organization operating a dedicated, worldwide, internet-based flight simulation network. Users can connect to the network to either fly online as a pilot using flight simulation software, or direct traffic as an air traffic controller and participate in what has been described as a close approximation of real-life aviation procedures. The organization has achieved notability for its very high level of participation and realism that has seen it in use as part of Federal Aviation Administration-funded research projects. This notability resulted in the organization being featured on the front page of the Wall Street Journal in 2006. It is considered the largest online flight simulation network in the world with over 209,000 registered members. As of September 3, 2009, with hundreds of participants online at any one time, VATSIM is one of the two main providers of flight simulation networks that allows users to either fly online as a pilot or direct traffic as an air traffic controller. Communications between pilots and controllers are carried out using integrated voice over IP or in-game text messages. Users require custom software to use the network. Through VATSIM, ordinary people have come together as a network of pilots interacting with air traffic controllers to produce a vast organic simulation of actual air traffic. The goal is to keep the simulation as close as possible to real-life aviation procedures, including realistic procedural standards and radio phraseology. This has made VATSIM a training aid to student pilots who lack experience at communication with air traffic control, as well as private and commercial pilots looking to enhance their skills, especially in radio communications. In achieving this the network has been highlighted as bringing more immersion to what was once a solitary exercise. Events in the game are no longer just programmed into the software, but are introduced by the combination of human effort and error. Networks such as VATSIM have been described as offering very strict experiences and may achieve very high levels of standards for training and currency even for those already involved in real-world flying. The network has been highlighted as being a key component in the development of the flight simulation as commodity software. Much like its real-world counterparts, VATSIM is divided into separate geographic areas each with slightly different operating procedures to handle the various local differences. VATSIM is divided into six regions which are further subdivided into country-specific divisions. The divisions themselves are divided into flight information regions, virtual area control centers and air route traffic control centers. The VATSIM organization was founded as a result of the dissolution of the simulated air traffic controllers organization in July 2001. In the mid-1990s, the evolution of the internet and modern flight simulators allowed users to fly together using multiplayer functions of the simulators. In 1997, the first version of Squabwood Box was created by Jason Grooms with later versions developed by Jojo Recker as an add-on for Microsoft's Flight Simulator 95, enhancing the built-in multiplayer features to allow large numbers of players to connect to the game. Pro Controller, a radar simulation program also developed by Jason Grooms, was created in the same year and allowed pilots and controllers to be connected. A third component, the FSD server, was created by Marty Botchen which provided the signaling infrastructure and logic required to type Pro Controller and Squabwood Box together in a logical fashion. The creation of these three programs allowed large-scale multiplayer to occur, whereas previously only one controller could control a single player. The system also allowed, for the first time, a user to fly around in real-world weather conditions which changed as they flew. Former staff members from SATCO commenced the creation of a new organization, almost immediately spearheaded by former Deputy Director Harvestein. The organization was formally announced as VATSIM on July 12, 2001, with the grand opening to occur later in that month. Stein was then elected as the president of the board. 
The Vatsim Board of Governors had drawn up terms of agreement with Randy Whistler from SATCO, that saw Vatsim become the official successor of SATCO, 